In no particular order, these are the best Photoshop plugin for Scale Retouching in 2025. And I'll tell you why. Also, at the end of this video, I want to tell you my favorite Photoshop plugin for 2025. And I'll let you know your favorite plugin as well. Let's get started. The first plugin is the Retouching Academy. Now, the Retouching Academy is great for photographers who are just starting out, who don't know how to create actions and also for photographers or for retouchers who want to speed up their workflow. For example, instead of creating actions or maybe they don't even know how to create actions for retouching or for photo editing, you can do it with one click with the Retouching Academy. So let's say I want to create focus separation action. Instead of duplicating my layer twice, blurring it, going to apply image, instead of doing all that, all I can do is just come to my plugin, click on Beauty Retouch right here, and just click and it's going to open for me. So to do my focus separation, all I have to do is click on focus separation via Gaussian Blur right here. And I'm going to use a radius of 5 for this image and hit OK. And once you load that focus separation action to use it, if you want to remove blemishes, all you have to do is pick your close time tool. To pick your close time tool, make sure opacity is set to 100, flow set to 100. Click on your high frequency copy right here and just press option or alt to sample from a close by area and just paint over any blemishes you want to remove and you're just going to remove blemishes from your image like that all right so see the before and the after so you can take a time to do this also if you want to make the skin look smooth you can also do it with this focus emotion action all you have to do is click on this corrective tone right here once you select your corrective tone select your mixer brush tool once you select your mixer brush tool you can copy my settings up here all right and make sure sample layer is selected i'm just going to zoom in hide my high texture layer. Once I hide it, it's going to leave only the colors and I can just brush on the image like this. And it's just going to make this image look smooth. So I'm just quickly going to show you the before and the after so you can have an idea of what you can do with the frequency separation if you don't already have an idea. All right, so let's quickly see the before and after for this image. All right, so take a look at the image. See the before and the after you can see. We are starting to smooth out the colors and just make the image look smooth. See the before and the after. And not just only focus separation. When you touch an academy, you can do your global dodge and bond. You can do your micro dodge and bond. You can even add skin to move. You can make skin to grow. You can whiten the eyes and also whiten the teeth. So let's just whiten the eyes of this image before we move on to the next best Photoshop plugin. So to whiten the eyes for this image, all you have to do is click on this magic eye right here. Now just imagine, in just one click, we are able to create all these layers. Now imagine you are creating all these layers from scratch. It's going to take you a lot of time. So to whiten the eyes, once you click on these magic eyes, and just paint on this black layer mask right here that says clean eye white here. We're doing the same thing for this other eyes right here. We're just going to whiten the eyes first now. See the before and the after. The before and the after. And like I said earlier, there are tons of things you can do with the Retouching Academy. You can even add digital skin textures to your image if your image doesn't have textures. And in this video right here, I explain in details everything you need to know to use the Retouching Academy from start to finish. So I'll be leaving the link where you can watch that video in the description of this video as well. The second plugin is the Makeup Retouch. Now this Makeup Retouch is specifically designed to enhance makeup and face skin to on your image. So if I come to Photoshop, just come to my plugin again, I click on this makeup retouch right here, just going to load for me. So if I want to change the color of the lips right here, all I can do is click on this lips right here. Once I click on lipstick, it's just going to do its thing for me. And all I have to do is pick my normal brush tool. And with a white brush, I just have to paint on the lips like this. All right. Now if I want to change the color of the lips after painting on it, all I have to do is open this group. Once I open this group, I'm going to scroll the way down to this solid color adjustment layer right here. Once I double click on it, it's going to open the color picker tool for me. So all I have to do is just play with the shield right here. I'm just going to change the color of the lips for me to any color I want. So I can make it lighter. I can make it darker if I want to do that. So you have total control over the colors of the lips and also if you want to make it even more darker, you can turn off this lighter shade. Once you turn off this lighter shade, it's going to be darker. And if you want to make it brighter, you can turn off this darker shade and it's going to be lighter. So you have total control over the lips. So see the before and the after. The before and the after. Also, if you want to add blush to this image, 
all I have to do is click on this blush right here. I'm just going to load for me and just pick my normal brush tool with a white brush. Just paint on the blush like this to add blush to my image. And also, if I want to change the color, I can just open this solid color adjustment layer right here and just play with the color to change it like that, all right? So you have total control over the makeup. And not just that, with the highlights right here, you can use it to make the highlights of your image pop. And also with the contour right here, you can just define your image and give it that depth on your image. Also, you can use this eye drops right here. You can add lashes. You can also add brows. You can add smoky eyes. You can add eyeshadow. You can even do liquefy and sharpen the image. So there's a lot of things you can do with this makeup retouch right here. So basically, the retouching academy and the makeup retouch makes your workflow faster. Speaking of retouching faster, this next best Photoshop plugin in 2025 is going to make your workflow 10 times faster. And it's called the retouch for me. Now, if you start making money as a photographer or as a retoucher, and you have a lot of work coming in, it's only advisable to get the retouch for me plugin. Not only will it help you remove blemishes, it will also help you do your micro dodge and bone and basically make your skin look smooth. And not just remove blemishes or do your micro dodge and bone for you. There's a lot more you can do with the retouch on me. Let me show you how it works. So let me just delete everything I've done so far for this image. All right, so this is our original image. Now, let's say I want to remove the blemishes and retouch this image in just one click. All I have to do is to begin my background layer by pressing on Command J. So I will retouch on me action. All I have to do is come to my action and click on the retouch for me right here. Once I play that action, all I have to do now is just relax and just let the retouch on me help me remove my blemishes and also smooth the skin for me using micro the jump bone. So let's just wait for it to load right now. And the result is amazing. All right, it has finished loading. See the before and the after. The before and the after. You can see it just removed the blemishes for us and did the micro the jump bone. First. Now if you want to do it manually, all you have to do, once you duplicate your layer, come to filter, come to retouch on me, and click on heal right here. Now heal is to remove blemishes from your image. You can see how fast it is. That's finished loading. So if I zoom right now, you can see we've removed the blemishes from this image. See the before and the after. And you can play with the intensity slider right here to measure how much blemishes you want to remove from the image. And once you are done, click on apply mask and click on apply right here. Now, after that, if you want to do the micro the jump bone, just create the stand visible layer by pressing up command option shift A or control shift alternate A. Once you create a stamp visible layer, come to filter again, click on retouch on me. And this time, if you want to smooth the skin, click on dodge and bone right here. Let's just wait for it to load. You can see how fast it is. All right. So it has finished loading. If I zoom in on this image right now, you can see it just smoothing out the skin for us. So see the before and the after, the before and the after. And with the blend right here, we can choose the amount of dodge and burn you want to your image. So you can see right now it's on zero. I don't apply any dodge and burn. If I take it all the way up to 200, it's going to be too smooth. See the before and the after, the before and the after. So I feel it's too much. So I think 170 or 150 always works for me. So let's leave it at 160. And also you can just to add warmth to the place you dodge and burn. So you can just come to your warmth and take it up or reduce the warmth if you want to reduce it. So 25 or 20 always works for me. And from here, create a soft light layer and click on apply. So you can see where it dodge and where it burn for us like this. So what you can do from here, just come to your blend mode, change from normal to soft light to bring back your original image. And you're just doing micro job, but like I said earlier, there are a lot of things you can do with the retouch for me. You can clean backdrop, you can mask skin color. So if you have another image, you can basically copy color from another image and apply it to your own image with this color match right here. You can also remove dust from your image with the dust right here. You can whiten the eyes. You can remove eye vessel. You can make your clothes through with fabric. So basically, you can do a lot with the retouch from your plugin. Now let me just demonstrate how you can use it to clean your background. So you can see how dirty this background is right now. I'm just going to clean it up using the retouch from me. So to do that, I'm going to duplicate my layer by pressing on Command J. After that, I come to my filter, come to my retouch from me. So instead of doing it manually, you can just click on this clean backdrop right here. And like I said earlier, just relax and let retouch from me do its thing. Right now it's loading. 
Let's just wait for it to finish loading. Okay, it has finished loading. If I zoom in, you can see it has automatically cleaned this backdrop for us. See the before and the after. The before and the after. Now, if you feel it's too much, what you can do, you can just play with the blend and just reduce the blend like so. See the before and the after. The before and the after. And from here, click on apply. Uh, before and after. Now you can see the touch of me, I just cleaned the backdrop first. And in this video right here, I explain the details, everything you need to know about how the retouch on me actually works. And also, if you're interested in watching that video, check the link in the description below of this video. Now, if you want something that is really, really fast and gives you an amazing result, let me introduce you to one of the most underrated best Photoshop plugins in 2025. And it's called the Reblom Retouch. The Reblom Retouch don't get enough credit that it deserves. This plugin is really, really good and really, really fast. Very easy to use and gives amazing results. So let me show you how it works. So if I just go to Photoshop, duplicate my background layer by pressing on Command J, come to Filter again, click on this Reblom Retouch right here. It's just going to do its thing. Like it's really fast and it's simple to use. This is the Reblom interface. We have the style, we have the natural. Now this natural is if you want to make your image look really natural, you can use this one. While you can use the fashion if you still want your image to look smooth and still look natural. But the fashion is more intense than the natural. That is the only difference. Now under the style, we have the fine tool right here and we have the slider, which is the general slider and the texture slider. Now this general slider is the dodge and bond. It's the one you use to smooth the skin. Why this texture slider right here controls the textures. So if you want to reduce texture from your image, you can take it up to 100 like you can see. But if you want to remove just a tiny bit of texture, you want to remove all the texture or much textures on your image, you can just take this texture slider down to remove less textures from your image. Why for the general? If you don't want your image to be too smooth, you can just reduce the general slider. But for me personally, I prefer to leave both at 100, 100 because I feel it still looks natural and it looks really, really good. All right, so let's see the before and after. See the before and the after. You can see how good the image is looking. Take a look at this image, the before and the after. The before and the after. And from here, all you can do is click on OK. And that is it. So take a look at the image, see the before and the after. And the good thing about this Reblon plugin is you can do it over and over again until you feel the image is smooth enough for you. I also made a dedicated video explaining how the emblem actually works. If you want to watch that video, check the link in the description below of this video as well. Now, since you watched this video up to this point, let me give you a bonus. Now, if you want to get a really good result, you can merge the retouch on me and the Reblom retouch to get an amazing result. Let me show you how that works. So the first thing I want to do, I'm going to forget my background layer by pressing on Command J and just play my retouch on me action. So I'm going to be merging both the retouch on me and the Reblom retouch so you can see the amazing results. So I do this for all the image I edit. So let's just wait for it to load. All right, it has finished loading. Now this is just the retouch on me. See the before and the after. The before and the after. Now, let me ask the Reblom retouch to make it look even more amazing. To do that, I'm going to create a stamp visible layer. I'm pressing on Command Option Shift E or Control Shift Alternate C in my Windows users. Once I do that, I'm going to come to Filter come to Reblom and just click on Reblom Retouch right here. And I like using the fashion, so I'm just going to wait for it to load. Class finish loading, see the before and the after. From here, I want to click on OK. Now, if I just group both the Reblom and the Retouch on me layer together, let me quickly show you the before and the after. So this image is good like this. You can even deliver this image to clients like this. They are really going to accept it. See the before and the after. You can see how smooth the image is and we still have textures on the image. The before and the after, the before and the after. Now that's just a bonus for you for watching this video up to this point. And I'd really appreciate if you can hit the like button and also share this video to someone who you think might learn something from this video. Now the next plugin is the best Photoshop plugin for beauty retouchers or beauty photographer. It's a must have because it have everything you need as a beauty photographer or as a beauty retoucher. And it's called the Williams Academy. So this is the plugin right here. Now this plugin right here comes with a lot of tools to edit bit images and it has a special dodge and bond specially made for bt images. Not just that, and let me show you some of the things that comes with this plugin. It comes with a lot of Photoshop brushes, so it has a lot of flashes brush as you can see, a ton of them. It also comes with iris brush, 
It also comes with Freco brush. So basically everything you need to retouch beauty image, it's on this plugin. And the best part of this plugin is it comes with skin textures. So if I just click on this skin texture right here, if I click on add and just click on this hand as skin texture right here, once I click on it, all I have to do is just paint on the image like this. So you can see it's just going to add that realistic skin textures for us. And also, the good thing about this plugin is you can control the amount of textures you want on the plugin. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. So let's say we've added the texture for this image. With the angle right here, you can change the angle to change the direction of the light, the way light falls on it. Also, you can change the size of the texture. You can make it bigger or you can make it even smaller if you want to do that. You can reduce the highlights or reduce the shadow on the textures. So basically, you have control over beauty images. You can basically do anything that concerns beauty images for this plug right here. I also made a video explaining how you can use the Williams Academy to edit or retouch your image. I'll be leaving the link to that video in shown below this video as well. So these are the best Photoshop plugins for skin retouching in 2025. And like I promised in the beginning of this video, I'm going to tell you my favorite. Now, my favorite depends on what I'm trying to do. So if I'm going for fast, I use the Reblum Retouch and the Retouch for me. And as for the Retouching Academy, the Retouching Academy is great, but I really don't use it because I have my own actions which I use for retouching. But when I started out, I used the Retouching Academy. So if you are starting and you don't have actions, I advise you to use the Retouching Academy. Why, if I want to retouch beauty, high-end beauty images, my go-to is the Williams Academy. So like I said earlier, the Williams Academy is really good for beauty images. And if you want to watch a video explaining in detail how to use the Williams Academy, you can check out this video right here. And if you want to watch a video explaining how to use the Retouch Me, you can check out this video right here. And if you want to watch a video how to use the Reblum Retouch, you can check out this video right here. And if you're interested in watching a video on how to use the Retouching Academy and the Makeup Retouch, you can check out this video right here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.